This is a 1950 Crosley station wagon. It's a resto mod, as you can see from that paint job. That certainly was not uh, the way it came from the factory. Beautiful blue and white combination. And I would say that uh, the, the two-toning on the side would have been like a wood paneling uh, color arrangement. You can see that upholstery certainly is... Uh, uh, have, has actually the seats have got to have been changed because they are full uh, protection for the uh, head and neck which would not have been present in the Crosley. Very plain instrument panel and those gauges certainly were updated too. The placement was the same in the middle but here you see the real modification here under the hood is a four-cylinder Pinto, Ford Pinto engine I'd say complete with uh, dual master brake cylinder and alternator overhead cam. So it, it's really a, a great upgrade, even though it says Crossley on the valve cover. Certainly this would be a lot more uh, adaptable to uh, general use than the, uh, the little four-cylinder Crossley engine that was uh, in some ways problematic for at the very beginning of its existence. They gradually made improvements on it, but certainly it would never be able to match the performance of this uh, modern Pinto engine. And you see the visor over the uh, over the windshield, and you see the circulation of that side vent. It allowed you to cool the inside of the car without uh, certainly no, no air conditioning needed with a, those uh, little vents helped a bit, but uh, they certainly couldn't take the place of uh, real air conditioning. Studebaker used a similar arrangement for years. And the clamshell tailgate here A lot of these were used as uh, delivery vehicles for businesses early in the 50s. And they made good uh, traveling billboards <laughs> with the business name splashed on the side. Neat little car. And a reminder of what can be done if you have the money.